gitu ya. Um, early draft, still a bit pretentious, sorry. <laughs> At 3 a.m., this city doesn't know me. The only cars on the roads are taxis, steady home. Black, then orange, black, then orange, no sound. There's 1,159 spaces in the car park. My city feels like a tap dancer with no shoes on. I'm jealous of all the people who get to see her like this who meet her vulnerable and hopeful before the sun comes out. The coach pulls up. I'm going to a place where they don't apologize for searching, then researching your bags. To a place where Friday means choosing between a quiet night in and throwing stones at armored patrols. Hope holds hands with purpose. It's earnest and loud and ancient and tired. Street vendors haggle me down to five pounds for a loom band bracelet in the colors of their flag like they're raising funds for independence. I spend as much time as I can just listening. This city is a lot of things, but mostly it's just a place. People make homes and smile a lot. They offer me coffee and share pomegranate juice. I know some of them are jealous of the way I get to see their city. I'm sorry I only get to see it for this long. In a blink and a breath. In the handful of trinkets I take home with me. Border control asks why I'm coming back with so many questions squashed in my backpack. I tell them that's between my city and me. Because I can't sleep knowing the work I do matters here, but not there. My city needs to be more than just the place I run back to. Is it a crucible or is it a home? Am I helping it grow or is it helping me? I don't know yet. But a good crutch is a decent weapon when you need it. So I guess I'd better work on my swing. Invest in some good shoes. Thank you.